welcome to the Pluto Sphere. We are connecting decentralized technologies to the global economy. This week, we would like to welcome our guest, Justin Bannon, CEO and co-founder of Boson Protocol. Thanks so much, Justin, for coming on. And we're super excited to be featuring you and your amazing project, Boson Protocol. So use smart contracts to power real world commerce. Justin, you are a serial entrepreneur with an enviable knowledge of both startups and the crypto sphere. So I think from where we're sat, Justin, um, Boson Protocol is sort of a decentralized version of what we'd say Amazon and eBay are. Obviously, um, these centralized technologies are absolutely huge and out of this world. Maybe you could give us sort of a high level introduction of what it is Boson's um, developing and what you guys are, are doing at the moment. Sure. Um... I mean, the, the long-term vision of, of, of Boson Protocol is to create uh, an ecosystem of, of, of decentralized commerce players all working together. So there's no need for a kind of centralized intermediary. Um, Boson Protocol is, is, is the rails upon which commerce runs. And, and it does that in a sort of a non-extractionary way. So basically all the users um, that they get to share in the value that they create. Um, and so unbundling e-commerce and disrupting these kind of these, these, these big monopolies is, is a big part of that sort of medium to long-term plan. Um, however, you know, where we start is um, we, are, we are launching uh, within the, the metaverse. So we, we are creating um, something called the Metamol, uh, initially starting in Decentraland, which is like a free port. It's a it's a an area where where there's no sort of taxation or extraction. So Boson Protocol enables commerce between the metaverse and the universe without extracting um, a, an excessive fee, um, and also that fosters innovation. So lots of events, you know, commerce. Um, Justin, yeah. how how are you going to be implementing sort of NFTs into this? I guess that's that's the way you'll be doing the receipts as such. Yeah. So what happens is if you're, for example, in our Metamore in Decentraland, and um, you you can purchase uh, an NFT, uh, which is a um, is a commitment on behalf of the buyer and the seller to perform a transaction in the real world. So you you purchase an NFT, payment amount gets locked up, and some deposits from buyer and seller, and you could then take that NFT and let's say go and redeem it for a pair of of, of sneakers, or as we would say in the UK, trainers within, for example, the Nike store, or with you know, or a you know, a, a fashion item and, you know, potentially a rare um, and special item only available um, in, in, in the Metamol and redeem that in some cool boutique uh, in store. And so the, the technology of Boson Protocol ensures that the buyer and the seller behave fairly and that the buyer either gets the item or, the, or, or, or the, their money back without the need for an intermediary or a human to kind of police and manage that. That's handled by um, some pretty novel and sophisticated game theory that's encoded within the NFT. That sounds amazing. Um, just so our sort of users are clear, could you just explain to our, fo our followers what the Metamol is and also just give a, a yeah. high level of, a, overview of um, what decentralization means? Metamol is a, an in-world shopping experience that we're building within um, a virtual world called Decentraland, um, which is like a game world. It's a world where people can come, they can roam around, they can pay qu play, play quests. It's a 3D world. Um, and we're creating this big sort of shopping and experience. Decentralization is the, is, the, is the notion that instead of having a single centralized controlling entity, that can then abuse their position of power by, for example, extracting excessive profits. So, you know, Amazon, Alibaba are really good examples of that. That we have that power and control and ownership distributed across lots and lots of people. And in the case of, of Boson Protocol, the power, control, and ownership is distributed across our token holders and our, our, our users. Meaning, if you imagine Facebook where you know, all the money that Facebook makes for advertising goes up to the shareholders. Imagine if all that money went back to the people that use Facebook. And that's 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 the concept for, for decentralization is 
building organizations that you know can't be evil because they're hard coded to be fair so in in terms of the the companies that you're going to have in your mall it's not going to be necessarily you know like like a a physical shopping center that you'd have say nike boots um I don't know next um, next homeware, next clothing wear. What are the what are the alternative shops that you're going to be hosting in mm -hmm. these malls? Are they going to be people privately coming to you offering their goods that they'll be able to eventually um, sort of post out? How will that work? So it's going to be a combination of real world brands like some that you that, that you mentioned in combination with this sort of metaverse native brand so 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 brands that have been selling things you know in you know, you know with like maybe twinned with nfts etc and there's a real kind of crossover there um so that that yeah that that's that, that's who, who who we have uh joining it's actually funny you say that we've just um we've just started working with a company uh, that have started coming over from the fashion world and they are mm -hmm. doing nfts in terms of, you know, you can go on their website and you can buy it virtually or you can own it physically. Yeah. So maybe there um, there could be a crossover there. We can discuss that maybe. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's exactly the type of, and there's, there's an increasing number of these kind of, you know, fashion and, and uh, sort of NFT crossovers. So those are exactly the type of, of brands that, that, that uh, we, we, we know are going to be very keen to, to join us. Um, but then also, um, enabling you know some more mainstream brands as well to get involved in you know and, and reach consumers in these in these new worlds definitely i mean personally i don't think it's going to take that long the no. amount of people that we're that we're um meeting with me looking after the projects that we work with we are constantly seeing the innovation just grow in this space so mm. i i really don't think it's going to take that long for the environment to go. But how do you feel the environment's going to expand? Where do you see us, say, I don't know, end of the year, end of 21? I think, you know, we, we saw these, these kind of big trends and big explosion in usage of DeFi, and then it was NFTs. Um, I think the next thing is going to be the, this concept of the metaverse and, and of having these kind of virtual worlds that are also built on blockchains. Um, and I think that's going to that that is going to be the path to you know mass adoption um, of the technologies. Do you think that e-commerce will will ever be able to challenge the likes of Amazon? There is coming a big paradigm shift, which is when the technology is there that you could buy something that you know if I could buy something from you securely and safely, um, and I could do that without paying anyone a big fee. Um, and without having anyone hoard my data and without having to go into log into a website, it was just done securely. Then why would you ever involve an, a, a, an extractionary and sort of trust abusing intermediary? And I think that paradigm shift is, you know, is, is arriving um, in tandem with the technologies to enable it. I think that's, I think that is it, isn't it? That is the big thing at the moment for, um decentralized um anything really it's that commitment that you're receiving without finding out those person's details and holding them so i think that that's probably the biggest challenge um maybe for you but for for most people it's how do we balance taking these people's say money for an nft when they purchase that and transferring it into something secure without knowing who they are and, uh, and where they live and all of these different things so i think that's that's a really big thing in this space at the moment. Just finding out that it's the smart contracts and figuring out how we're going to store store data without storing any data. Mm. So, um, in in terms of your community and um, the main thing that you find people struggle to maybe access or understand um, how to get onto your into your mall, um, what would you advise? How would you advise people to to really get started in what you're doing? Um, so, <clears throat> with the the mall is is under construction of the uh, at the moment. Um, look, the the reason we're building this is that Boson Protocol is a bit like one of the foundational layers of the internet. Like, I think there's a protocol that sends the data around called TCP/IP. Most people have never heard of it and don't need to. So when you log into Facebook or you go and play a game or you do any of the things you enjoy, you don't know about TCP/IP. 
all you know is you can do some great and fun things. Okay. And so that's a similar relationship between Mentimol and Boson Protocol. Boson Protocol is this foundational layer. Not many people need to understand how it works, okay. but all you need to know is what this means is I can go and have this amazing shopping experience in Decentraland with all these fun things. And then I get these NFTs, which I can then buy securely and you know, no need to, 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 to kind of have, have my money at risk, knowing I can then go and redeem them in store and it's all super easy and fun. And that, you know, that, that's why we're building these great consumer and shopping experiences like Metamol because it's, it's really, it's, it's not so much about this underlying technology, it's about the, the, the consumer experiences and the fun it enables. So when you say go and redeem them in store, do you mean redeem them in store in the Metamol or do you mean both in the Metamol? In, and in a real Apple? world store. So it's a bridge between the metaverse and the universe. Um, so yeah, absolutely. That's fantastic. That in, um, maybe we can just dive in a little bit um, about your team. And mm -hmm. who, were, who were the founders? Who were the people that really have built this up from the ground, really? And, and where the idea came from? Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll start with your team and then mm -hmm. move into the idea. Sure. Well, we, we have sort of an, an incredible team um, of, of, of sort of protocol designers, um, of uh, mechanism designers, token engineers, technical people, product, uh, marketing. I mean, just... just I think we're, we're sort of about 35 now um, and just this, this kind of amazing team. And we're also adding um, to those, to those teams. So you're 30, there's 35 of you. And when was yeah. it sort of how quickly have you grown to 35? We've grown from about five to 35 in, in, in about eight months. Wow. Yeah. Am I right in thinking you have one of the world professors of game theory within your team? Yeah, wow. we've got the number one, the world's number one algorithmic game theorist devising the game theory. We've then got one of the core mechanism designers from Ethereum 2, who then designs that into the mechanisms. Oh. Uh, we've, got, we've got about uh, six or seven PhDs, yeah. Whoa, that's so impressive, so impressive. I want to make my own mold just so I can work with you all. <laughs> <laughs> when did Boson um, establish? been working on boson for about 18 months yeah so okay. the initial phases were very kind of research based and yeah we went on outlier ventures base camp and, and sort of developed out yeah and so to that team we're also adding a lot of I and mean, we recently did a whole kind of advertising campaign for like metaverse natives in in um various sort of online worlds with big billboards and stuff so yeah we're really recruiting heavily now on top of these kind of quite hardcore design and engineering people on the protocol for the people that will build these amazing experiences on top so that's that's where we're recruiting pretty heavily at the moment we have uh, a lot of our followers and community that are trying to get into the crypto space at the, mon at the moment mm -hmm. that actually have the experience from, uh, you know, the real world, yeah. uh, have the interest in the crypto space. So when you say that you're hiring at the moment, how would you suggest someone uh, get in contact with you? What's, what's the best way for them to sort of apply and get working with you? So if we go to our website and look at the job section and the, the, the jobs are listed and um, contact details there. We know you've got a very exciting few things in the pipeline that we can't talk about just yet. But um, yeah, how would, I, how would our followers keep up to date with you? Um, well, the website, but also um, Telegram and Twitter, uh, which is at Boson Protocol. And that's, that's where all the news breaks. And we love talking about anything that's innovative in the space, especially Boson. You guys are doing absolute wonders at the moment um, for DeFi. Is there anything that you'd like to sort of um, touch on that maybe we haven't focused on just yet? Well, as, as I mentioned, we're, you know, we're, we're about to make this big announcement um, about Metamol and, and where that's going to be located within Decentraland. So that's like super exciting. Um, and uh, yeah, we should be able to make that announcement within the next few days or week uh, maximum. Um, but uh, yeah, I would love to come back and, and share more details about that with you. I would love that. We would absolutely love to be kept up to date with that. Um, well, it's been amazing sort of speaking to you. Where do you see uh, Boson in five years' time? In five years' <laughs> time, um, I would see Boson as being kind of the 
the, the, the fabric for commerce within the metaverse and also deeply embedded into the real world, displacing e-commerce and connecting a whole new sort of um, ecosystem of, uh, of, of shops and stores and buyers and sellers in a fairer, more equitable um, commerce industry. Can you see yourself having much competition um, in the space of you know, other decentralized malls becoming a... Well, I mean, Boson is actually, it's all about collaboration. So we, we're doing this to trigger people to, to, to use Boson protocol, but the technology is there with our support as well for people to create other malls. And we, we're not actually extracting any any sort of uh, sort of profits per se out of the the malls. So it's it's that's exactly our intention. Is you know the more malls we have that run on Boson technology and enable fairness between buyer and the sell and seller, the better. And so, will you just be focusing on Decentraland for now? So anyone that comes to you looking to create their own mall, are you going to be focusing mainly in Decentraland, or are you going to go to other? Our plan is to have meta malls in every world and game. Fantastic. Wow. That is going to absolutely take over, I think. I am a massive fan. And with Pluto, you know, we're working with NFT projects mm. and all sorts of different things. I mean, we've just started working with a couple of music uh, projects. I don't know how you feel about having sort of NFT. Uh, yeah, really? Yeah, absolutely. And we're, we're also going to have an event space for, for bands, et cetera, to play. So wow, thank um, you. yeah, I mean, there's, there's so much um, collaboration and innovation. This, I mean, Metamol is just going to be this incredible space for people to play. Having a band at a mall when you go through Decentraland, Decentraland, I think is probably going to be epic for me. Definitely. That's, that's the main reason I go out. It's to watch people play live music. So I think when, um, when we go through Decentraland and, and see your malls and see uh, people getting involved and just a great way for everyone to come together as a community, absolutely love it. It would be great for us to maybe um, get you on another call with yeah. some of our other, um, yeah. other projects that we're working with that are coming with these new uh, innovative yeah. NFT shops. That would be fantastic. Tell us a tiny bit about the man behind the plan. Yes. A little bit about you. Yeah, I, I used to run, uh, I built the whole Priority Pass group for about 50 million to a billion dollar turnover. Whoa. Um, digitize, basically turn them from a, company that sold like airport lounges that like using paper and plastic vouchers to yeah um, a digital platform selling loads of different things as these digital vouchers um, and that's kind of then you know the, my next thing was I, I did a master's in digital that enabled that then I did a master's in blockchain and thought okay what about blockchain vouchers and so that's when I thought well maybe actually Having built this business for these these owners, maybe I should do something and um, and do something more fair and equitable. I sort of got tired of just screwing people out, you know, like buyers, sellers, employees, just you know, squeezing money and then putting it up to the owners. By the time I had my little daughter, she's three and a half now, I just became very disillusioned with being this like chief extractionary officer and wanted to make the world a bit of a better place for her and, and, and others you know as they so that make the future not owned by these big companies that are just siphoning all of our our hard-earned value from us that's so lovely i hope you're recycling as well at the moment now she's now she's born you've become a, a little bit keener on recycling that's what happened no, i don't do anything like that but i have a, an ocd wife who does all of that that's the trick you see I'm an advocate. If someone more OCD than you, then you can just, you don't know, you just rely on them. Yeah, that's so ideal. True. That's so ideal. Justin, are you guys all based in London, all 35 of you? We're now out in Buckinghamshire. Oh, wonderful. That's so, what, all 35 of you? No, no, the, the team is just, we don't even have an office. Oh, you don't Hopefully have an office. First, because no, we, I actually got, I, I was living in, um, up until a month ago, we were living in sort of near Whitechapel. Mm -hmm. um, and we, we got an office in uh, the WeWork in Canary Wharf, really nice office. Put the deposit down and then literally three days later, all this craziness happened with COVID. Oh, no. Um, never moved in, just lost our deposit. No, um, took it. Yeah, WeWork. Nice. Yeah. 
Well, um, I kind of think that wraps us up. So I guess your Telegram, your Twitter and your Medium uh, are the most active places for us to get in yeah. contact with you and to see all of your updates we would love to have you back on as soon as you have your exciting news ready to go live um, and we can give our followers an update thank you so much lots of fun stuff happening so we'll have more to show next time yeah definitely <laughs> maybe next time we could go through a little like a, a walkthrough yeah a walkthrough would be amazing it's been so 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 yeah, likewise i'd love to come back just let me know and i'll have some more news for you Fantastic. Brilliant. Okay. We'd love that. Thank you all our Plutonauts for watching. And we will be back with more from the galaxy of Pluto soon. Do not forget to give us a like. Give us a share. And subscribe. subscribe.